Greetings. This is your Senator and friend, Alicia Chucky Hansen, keeping in touch with my people. Well, I'm very happy to be home. After traveling to Denver, Colorado, and taking two days to return back home, I feel delighted to be where I belong. Uh, it was freezing cold, snowing, and of course, great information. We stayed indoors, so that was good. In a couple of days, you will be hearing some discoveries I made that surprisingly we have not captured, but thank God that I went there, discovered this information, and there is money that this government can tap into, a discretion that we as a government can use to get that money, but we haven't done so yet. But you will hear where and how shortly. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank while we were at that conference. There also something very interesting was happening next door in Kentucky, the Kentucky Derby. Of course, the Jackie Krieger and LeBron, they, as far as I'm concerned, just making it that far, they are our winners. So congratulations to both of them, all the trainers and all our people throughout America that are excelling. I said, keep it going on because only the sky is the limit. I am certainly very proud of you. I want to indicate to you that uh, I am still waiting for this fourth extension agreement for Hovensa. I don't know how it will take that long if we have the governor's signature and um, the other side has not signed yet. What kind of negotiation is that? In good faith? If it has been negotiated in good faith, why we cannot attain to this date the so-called one signature that's missing? We need to see this agreement so that we can analyze it without rush, analyze it properly, and do our due diligence on behalf of the people. The governor has his job to do. We as a separate branch of government have our own job to do. Like I continue to indicate, I am standing on the breach of contract, which the Attorney General and the Governor have admitted that they, in fact, breached the contract. I am standing on the fact that for years, we have had to pay high costs of oil while this is being refined right here on St. Croix. I am standing on the fact on the ground that a lot of our people have got to hurt here on the island of St. Croix. I am standing on the ground that underground our aquifer has been destroyed. And therefore I want to see what are we going to get in exchange for all of this. So I am waiting patiently. I don't want any rush into this matter. And therefore I will continue to tell you any progress that I am aware of on this hess hovensa Pedavesa agreement. I want to take this opportunity to say that uh, our family and friend, Te has gone, left us. Um, we thank God that we did not have to look at the clock because God is an awesome God. Tay left in peace. He got a beautiful sent off by this community, family and friends. We appreciate it so that relatives will come on my show this Saturday on 97X to let us know and let you know those that went all the way to make it all happen. So I thank you all. We're going to always miss Tay. But guess what? Stanley and the Ten Sleepers Night, you all have sound great. You all pump some real music there for Tay. Okay? At the Canigata Ball Park. People like peace. Food can done. Drink can done. Tay was happy that day. And I want to say thanks to all of you until next Saturday on 97X at 10 a.m. Call in. To say happy Mother's Day to your favorite lady, okay? 
whether she's here with us or not. Happy Mother's Day. And we're going to get these sponsors that we have in to send a couple of mothers to St. Martin and Puerto Rico. What the hell? Stress-free. Until next time, this is your senator and friend, Alicia Chucky Hansen, keeping in touch with my people.